Hello, how are you doing? Hope you're doing great. All right, it's autumn. We are enjoying the colorful season here in Finland. First, before I dive into the um, topic of today, I just want to let you know that you can now book your one-to-one -one consultation with me. We have a website, Emilio Do Consulting. You can just, it's really easy. You fill a form online and then I get it and get back to you, all right? Everything is there, so easy. I will leave a link to my website in the description box below. So if you need me to help you, if you think like, okay, what you're getting from my YouTube channel is not enough, you need more, that's what I'm talking about. Then you can rush to my website, Emiedo Consulting, and try to book an appointment with me. I mentioned that if you think you want more, because I think I'm giving enough information on my YouTube channel. But if you think like you want a one-on-one -on -one, um, follow-up, then you can book an appointment. You can also follow us on Facebook, Emiedo Consulting. You can follow us on Instagram, Emiedo 2022, Emiedo Consulting still. So that's the information I have for you guys today. Now, uh, concerning one-on-one -on -one booking and connecting with me. You can also connect with me um, through LinkedIn. I've received <laughs> some um, connection requests from some of you, which I'm, which is amazing because I encourage us to um, create a LinkedIn profile because you need it when you move to Finland. You need to connect with people professionally. Like I'm talking about professional platform, career platform here. Yeah. LinkedIn is amazing. So you can connect with me on LinkedIn. My name there is Tabi Emilia, same as YouTube. Okay, so you may be wondering, is it is it is it really possible for someone to study in Finland for free? It's possible. That's the good news. It is possible for you to study in Finland for free. For free means you don't pay tuition fee and you may even get more scholarships all right so there are different ways you can study in finland for free and i'm gonna be talking about these different ways but before i move forward have you liked this video and have you subscribed so please click the like button and subscribe and if you've subscribed to my channel and you have not clicked the notification bell please do because if you want to be the first to get um, notified about new uploads and all other information concerning study in Finland, you should click the notification. So the first way or means you can study in Finland for free is applying for a vocational program in English or Finnish. For the programs in Finnish, if you are here in Finland, this is good for you. Because you, all, all the vocational programs in Finnish are free. All right. So you can actually study in Finland for free through these vocational programs in Finnish. That's the first. For vocational programs in English, as we all know, the famous Vamia is one of them. So you can actually study in Vamia. For free, I'm gonna leave the, leave the link for Vamia for those who are new to my channel so that you can go through these different programs at Vamia and you can apply during the um, next application period, which is in um, January, February. So you can actually study vocational programs in Finnish and in English here in Finland for free. There is also Helsinki Business College. Um, I, I received an email from someone um, asking if it's free. Yes, the City Business College is free. They have about two programs in um, English. So you can actually apply for this uh, for one of the programs in English uh, there in um, Helsinki Business College. You can also study here for free through scholarships and also fully funded programs. Universities in Finland have these um, scholarship programs. I talked about the Finland scholarship. If you haven't watched the video, you can check it out. 
So you have one, a fully funded uh, program that's 100% tuition waiver and you even have 5,000 5, relocation fee. I already talked about that here on my channel. But individual universities offer 100% scholarship. University of Tampa is one. I really love their scholarship um, scheme. It's amazing. So you can apply for the scholarship while filling the application form during the January application. So you don't need to um, submit a separate application. You can just, um, there'll be a, um, an option like, are you applying for a scholarship? And so you can take it and say yes, and then you can take the type of scholarship. So you will be able to move here and study for free without paying tuition fee. Um, Uvascular University is another top university that offers 100% tuition waiver. You can check it out. When you get this 100% tuition waiver, you will study in Finland for free. There is another in Olu, University of Olu, it offers 100% uh, scholarship to international students. So you don't need it. The only um, um, eligibility criteria in this um, um, for this 100% tuition waiver and other scholarships is that you should be um, an international student that's from the EU. That So if you're coming from Africa, you're coming from Asia, then you are eligible to apply for this scholarship. So as long as you are entitled to pay tuition fee, all right, you are eligible to apply for this 100% scholarship. So it's available for everyone as long as you are applying for that program in that university, then you can apply for this 100% um, tuition waiver, all right? So that's another way you can, you can study uh, for free in Finland. The other um, group of people I want to talk about, or students I want to talk about, like there are those students that are already in Finland. So for example, if you're in Finland already um, and you have a residence permit here, then you can study like an A permit. So you can study here for free. You can apply to any program, any program you want to study, any from vocational to bachelor to master's phd any you can study here for free as long as you have the a type residence permit here in finland you don't need to pay fees so um if you are also from an eu country then you are not supposed to pay fees as we all know you can study here for for free but i just want to stress more um, because most of you here are coming from um, outside the EU, right? So you should look out for vocational um, programs in English. Or if you think your Finnish language, you know, you've been studying Finnish and you think like, okay, I can study in Finnish. You can also apply for the vocational um, programs in Finnish. But if your Finnish is not that good or if it's not the best, you can um, apply for the vocational program in English and if you really don't want to do anything <laughs> like the vocational schools or whatever you can apply for a university program master's program and apply for the 100% tuition waiver now you may be wondering like is it possible like you may be thinking like it's something that is not achievable like I mentioned here the last time, it is possible for you to actually apply for a 100% tuition waiver and get it. It's possible for you to get this scholarship. All you need to do is to read the eligibility criteria and make sure you go through it, especially for separate applications. Because as we all know, they're, they're not all programs or all universities are uh, take part in the joint application. Some universities, like, like for example, let's say University of Tampere may have some of its programs in the joint application. Joint application in the sense that you apply for this program with other programs, all right? Because in the joint application, you can apply for six programs, you know, at once. But 
there are some programs that are separate and their application period are different. So you have to, if you know that, all right, I am looking out for University of Ifascola, University of Eastern Finland, University of Tampere, then you should get familiar with their website and know this different application period because there are some programs that opens their application in um uh, in december already yeah so with that you are applying directly to the university and with that kind of applications they will always look out for your performance like how many points you got during the uh, application period so for example if you've been asked to write like a motivation letter or to do um a motivation video all right like kind of an interview video so through the motivation letter or the video they're gonna read you they're gonna grade you so if you have like all right high points and then they look at your previous study let's say you have a bachelor degree already and then you have like uh three three point five three point eight on four on an average like you know like you are first class student or something like that. So your academic performance, if I just, let me just put it that way. If your ap academic performance um, in your previous studies, which is one of the criteria, all right, for this program. So for example, if I'm applying for intercultural communication and I did linguistics, like sociolinguistics, that is tied to this intercultural communication program, and I, my academic performance in my bachelor's in sociolinguistic is really high, then they're going to take that into consideration. And if I have a work experience and this program requires work experience, then I'm going to have an additional point. And then they combine it with my motivation letter or my interview video. And then it gives me like, let's say, 28 on 30. All right. Then I have higher points so they give me the 100 percent scholarship so that's what i'm talking about but it's not like one size fits all like i always say for some university they're looking for something else it's like you know so it's good to read through and know oh right okay they are offering this 100 percent um, scholarship like what what do they want from me how can i get this so when you know how to get them you'll be able to prepare in advance and when it's time for you to apply, you just apply. And who knows, you can get it So and study here for free. So these are the different ways you can study um, here in Finland for free. The last one I want to talk about, I don't know if it's really tied to you, but I think if someone is watching this video and the person is like, I want to study Finnish language, maybe I'm, I'm in Finland already, do, they, do I need to pay? If you're taking private lessons, yeah, you need to pay. But if you are already in a university, if you're enrolled in a university, you can study it for free because universities have these different programs, um, Finnish language uh, programs that are uh, studies or courses, sorry, not programs, Finnish language courses that you can you can take. Okay, so I hope this answers your questions to as to like if you can study in Finland for free. Yes, you can study in Finland for free, but you need to know what you're looking for, the university, your previous studies, your future studies and career development in order for you to choose the best option, the option that really, 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 really suits you. All right. Okay, so have an amazing week ahead and know that you can do this you got this all right and with you putting in your effort and god backing you up you can achieve this okay thank you so very much for watching god bless you